you know it, ne? And look at me. So today we're going to do to start sectional. Sectional drawing. So I want us to focus on this cupboard. We take this side of this cupboard as our front view. This was this side, it will be our left. And this other side, it will be our right. Also top. You understand me? Eh? Even from this side, it's also a top, but viewing it from the bottom. You understand that part? Eh? So, if I'm standing here, which side will I able to see if I was tall enough to see the top? Which side? I will say front, top, and the right. Ne? So when standing here, which side will I be able to see? Left, top, and the front. So meaning, if you check here, I have two positions. This position number two, this position number one. At position number one, I can only see three views, which include right. At position number two, still three views, but this time I do not see right, I see what? I see the left. So, if I'm standing here, looking straight on the left view, which side of, my, of me do I see I'm an inches. Which side? Do I see it on the left or do you see it on the right? I'm an inches of on the left side? Which side? See, we don't get your question. Whether you are right, but I want him to understand. Yeah. I think here I'm having a, a, a left view, eh? So this left view here, I also have I'm an inches. Can you see? So where are the inches? On the left side of the left or on the right side of this view? On the right side. On the right side. Ne? So this left side is the same as the right. But when I'm on the right, where are the inches? On the left. So in another way, you are saying my, le my left view, I have I'm an inches this side. That's correct, ne? Yes. And my right side, I'm having I'm an inches this side. It's correct, me? So what does this mean? It means if you are having a left, from a left, you need to draw a right. You just flip. You flip your drawing. So that it become a left if it was a right. So meaning if you are having a left view, this one it will be your right view. If you are having a, a, a right view, this one will be your left view. You understand that part, me? Yes. But you do not just flip. You, after you flip, you, you must also check if you will still see some other details. Some you will see them, some you won't see them. So this who you will see, it will be so nice. This who won't see, it will be dash line. But we'll get to that one as time goes on. So for now, we have talked about two positions. The first position, you said I'll, I'll be able to see the front, the right, and the top. The second one, you said I'll be able to see the front, the left, and the top. <laughs> You see that part, ne? Yes. This one are the two positions. For your, your slappers, we are going to look on these two positions. Like this. So, this position, because it has the right view, this one, it will be a third, third angle. And this one, it will be the first. First angle. So when I'm standing here, I'm able to see the right. So this position will be a, a third. And when I'm standing here, I'm able to see the left. It means this position will be the first. 
we only have third and and the first. So what you need to know is how do you arrange your views under third angle and how do you arrange the views under first angle? So this this T is then for top view, meaning in this position here, under third angle, you must put top view. Here it must be front, here it must be right. So under under first, this one, it must be front in this position. This one, it must be left. And this one, it must be a top. You understand the difference between the two, two positions, ne? So, okay. Those angles, as I'm standing here, I'm at a certain angle. Even when I'm standing there, I'm also on the another angle. So these angles, they won't tell you that this is the first angle, this is the third angle. Rather, they will give you a symbol. The arrangement of your drawing must be in this manner. The moment you see this one, you must know that this symbol is what? Third. Your arrangement of the views must be in this manner. Is there any question? No question. The symbol for first angle. We have this one. Eh? What is this? Is it trapezium or rhombus? What is this? Trapezium. Eh? So look, look the for first angle projection. The trapezium is on the left of the cycle, and the longer side is facing what the cycle. In that case. You can conclude that this is a what? It's the first angle. It must match the two conditions. The first condition is that the transpezia must be on the left of the cycle. The second condition is that the longer side must face what? The cycle. For, for, third, for, for third angle, the trapezia, it must be on the right of the cycle. And the shorter side must face what? The cycle. So the question is, which angle is this one? First. This first, ne? Okay. Let me draw another angle. Saying this one is first, first angle. So what about this one? First angle. So first angle. First. Third angle. But okay. We said it must 
accommodate the two positions. Né? The first position, under first, this one must be on the left, right? And the normal side must be, it must be facing the cycle. So in this case, the longer, yes, the longer side is facing the cycle. But is the trapezium on the left? No. It, it means it, it, it is not, we cannot control that. Né? So in this case, the cycle must be on the left, which is true. Is the shorter side facing the cycle? No. No. So in this case, in this case, it means your drone is upside down. Before you start drawing, you must make sure that the symbol is correct. So when I try to turn this one, can you tell which, which, which angle is this one? Yes. This first, yes. So meaning, before you start drawing, you must check your symbol. Because in this case, it means they want you to draw your drawing in this manner. When it's like this one, it does not matter you know that the person it must stand like this. But in, according to the symbol, this person is upside down. According to this symbol. Meaning they want you to draw the person in this manner. So if you find it like this one, before you start drawing, you must correct it, right? You understand, eh? If you find it this way, before you, 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 you draw, you must correct your symbol. So all I'm saying, before you start drawing, make sure that you, sim you understand your symbol or your symbol is the way it's supposed to be. So OK, as you said, you understand. So, okay, there we go. I want to know. Now we are answering Roman figure one. Ne? Under Roman figure one, which view is A? Under Roman figure one, which view is A? Is A a top? Is A a front? Is A a side? Which side? Is it left or right? Under Roman figure one. Which view is A? A is front, ne? Yeah. And B? Okay. B is left. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. What does not understand? You do not. Okay. Again, this is our Roman figure one. Which angle is this one? It's first angle, ne? Under first angle, how is your view supposed to be arranged? Is it not supposed to be arranged like this one? So, if this one we are saying, oh, this one, can I put this one here? This thing. If this one, we say is, is first angle, under first angle, which view are side to side? Side to side, is it not front and the left? It's a front and a left. Eh? So in this case, which one will it will be A? Front. And this one? Left. You understand that part? Eh? So okay. 
still at Roman figure one, which view is C? Which view is C? Front. Front. And this one? No. Top. You understand that part? Yes. Okay. Now, under Roman figure two, the same drawing. Under Roman figure two, which view is A? Front. It's top. Okay, which angle is this one? It's third. Under third angle, we are having this arrangement. Is either you are given these two views or you are given these two views? You understand that part? Me? Yes, the way they are arranged in there. Is either you are having this one or you are having this one? So I, 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 I restart my question. Under Roman figure two, which view is A? Front. Front. And which view is B? Right. right. Same under Roman figure two, which view is C? Top. Top. Which view is, is D? Front. Front. So if you, if you have noticed, under, under Roman figure one, you were saying this, this one is a front, this one is a top. But under Roman figure two, you're saying this is a top, this is a front. Meaning, for you to know the symbol is very important. Before you can tell which one there, which, which view is which one, you must understand the symbol. We are together, eh? Yes. Okay, so. Oh. H. C. And D. This two. Under Roman figure one. Which view is missing here? Top. Top's missing, eh? Yeah. And where, where is it supposed to be positioned? Under, under, under A, eh? Yes. So under Roman figure two, which one is missing? If this question, it was this one. The, top. the one, top. the top's still missing, eh? Yes. Where are we supposed to position top. above A, eh? So, this one. Under this one, which, which, which view is missing here? Left. The left is missing, eh? And where should it be positioned? Right next to? C. Next to C, right? Yes. So if this one was going with this symbol, which view is missing? Right, right view is missing. And where to be, to be positioned? Right side next to D. Yes. Yeah, indeed you, you understand. So, okay. Now, you are given two, 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 two drawings. With the given two drawings, Okay, I will start like this one. You are given this drawing. So on this drawing, they will give you something like this. There's an arrow there. Also this arrow is facing this side. And here is 50. So this one, those are the dimension. They are telling you that from here up until there, is 50. Can you see the arrows, ne? Yes. Sometimes they will give, they will do it like this. The arrows, instead of being inside, they are outside. Then it's either the right 50 inside or the right 50 outside. So this one and this one is still the same thing. This and the arrow here. This and the, this, this is still the same thing. So this one, they, are us they usually do it if there's not enough space in, in, in between. You understand that part, mm -hmm. eh? Yes. And this, once you are given the distance from there to there, let, let me add something here. Then here, I'll draw the box like this. So it means from there to there. Okay. 
So again, you have this one here is 20. So here is 10. Check. We have this arrow and this arrow. It means the distance, the distance from here to here is straight. Right? So if you come this side, you only have one arrow. So what you must know is, can you see this arrow? This arrow, it worked twice. It, it must work with this arrow first to get 20, and secondly, it must work with this 10. So that you know that from there to there is 10. You understand that part, right? Sorry? Yes. And if you are having two, two drawings like this one, they do not give you measurement twice. You are only given it once, dimensions. So, as from here to there is 50, it also means from here to there is 50. You understand that part, eh? Yes. If ever you do not see that from there to there is the same as from there to there. You can take a ruler in your textbook or in your text in, 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 question paper. You put in line with this one. In line, this line, can you see? When you put it there, you will see that even this one starts from there. I got it from there to there is 50. So where 50 starts and where 50 ends, it ends on that line. Can you see? In, in my case, because the free hand does not end on the same position. Meaning this one, it was supposed to end somewhere here. It's supposed to end somewhere there. Can you see? By putting a ruler, it can tell you that this line corresponds with this one. So meaning in that case, you can able to get that measurement. So for these dash lines, can you see? There's the dash lines, they start at the beginning of the start of the cycle, at the circumference of the cycle. And when you put it this side, same thing, it ends at the circumference of the cycle. Meaning, this distance here, from there to there, is the same as distance from there to there. And this distance here, you, you are usually given it in diameter, because it's a cycle. They would, they would write it in that manner, R, R15, no, no, diameter 15. So it means this one, it has a diameter of 15. They, they indicate the diameter in this manner. Or they will come inside the indicator from there to there. It's, it, it, it's what? It's 15. So in that case, you know that the diameter there is 15. Sometimes they will indicate it like this one. From the center up until to the circumference, they write R15. Or the point from outside, they say this one is R15. So you must know that the radius there is 15. And once you are given 15 here, do not expect to be given 15 there. Or if here they say from here to there is, is 15. Yeah, this one it should be 30. You cannot have a radius and a, and a diameter of the same. If they say from here to here is 30, from there to there is 30. It means you do not expect the measurement for this one. As long when you put a ruler in between, the cross point, the two cross point, two cross point. You understand that part, me? You only give them dimension once, or on one drawing. They cannot repeat the dimension which you are given here. They cannot repeat it here. So sometimes, this drawing, it can be this side. So remember, this one, they are, they are vertical to each other. Right? So as they are vertical to each other, it means the measurement we consider that the horizontal ones. These two, they are, they are horizontal to each other, meaning they, they the measurement you consider is the vertical one. Meaning, from here to here is the same as from there up until there. If you are not sure, you can take a ruler and check if they are aligned. And your ruler, as you put your ruler, you must make sure that the ruler, it goes straight to this line. Once it bends from the line, it will give you the wrong measurements. 
So, how long from there to be, from there to there? It will be ten. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, they will, the way indicate measurement in this moment, right? They use this, the arrows. This one, they will not use. Do you understand? So, and, and, and again, for your syllabus, the only arrangement you use is F, L, T. Also, F, R, T. Remember, I said you can, this one, for you to make this one, this, for you to change left to be right, just click me. Meaning, if you are given this one, to, to write this one in first angle. Oh, in third, I mean this one is first angle. If you are given this one to draw it in first angle, it means it will, you, you will copy the front as, as it is, you copy the top as it is, and then your right view. That's your right view, man. Yes, because you have flipped the left to become a right. I mean, remember here you're supposed to have a right, right? Mm -hmm. So, but now you have already been given a view which is left. So yours is to change that left to be to be right. So this is how you do it. So those are the two views which we'll be talking about. If you also know that there is this one, you have a front, you have a top, and you have a right or a left there. For now, let us not use that one. It doesn't mean it's wrong, it's right, but we're not going to focus on this one. Eh? We're only going to focus only on these two arrangements. So as time goes on, I will explain that you do not just flip, you must also check if there is a hidden details which on the other side it was visible. For now, what we're going to do, I want you to start by copying the given rules. I want to see if you can be able to read other dimensions from your textbook. 